Oh, man, I'm excited for this one. It is time to do the cosplay finalists show, and I am so damn hyped. Dota is unique in many ways, but in one way in particular is their cosplay queens and kings nail it every single year. This year is no exception. I can see some of them behind you, and it's crazy. It really is. So without further ado, let's get into this, and we'll meet each one one by one, your finalists of the cosplay competition. So first, please welcome to the stage Clayman with Wraith King. When he found out he was a finalist, he said it was a dream come true. It's a large scale cosplay and very good proportions. That's what the judges like to say. Fantastic. Number two, we have Nickel the Flesh, Dark Willow. The patterns were made from scratch, facial prosthesis made from gelatin, and a second time contestant, first time finalist. I love this one, Scorched, Trian Protector. Watch those steps. First time cosplayer created the torso out of a hockey chess piece in homage of the Rogers Arena. Scorched, thank you. Up next, we have Lilis, Lilis, Lilis Slip. Wow, it's a warlock. TI6 cosplay competition winner and used paper for the chains. Up next, Melissa Enchantress. Careful. The deer butt, as Melissa calls it, was created using a taxidermy frame. Incredible. Fantastic. Up next, Abby Cat cosplay with a nature's prophet. The costume is made of craft foam, chicken wire, fabric, and PVC pipe. And 500 pink leaves, all made by hand. Up next, it's Kitty Cthulhu Kunka. All embroidery created by freehand. The judges appreciated the excellent choice of fabrics. Up next, Rehab Cosplay, Ember Spirit. The costume is 100% handmade and took 250 hours to complete. Up next, it's Starsky with a Riki. That mask is made of clay, plaster, and 10 to 15 layers of latex. Up next, Iron Swan cosplay. Check out this doom. This is the first costume she's ever entered into a competition. Brilliant. Up next, Luna Crow with Legion Commander. The costume is made from thermoplastics, foam, fabric, and incorporates LEDs, which she programmed herself. Yeah. 
Shrimp Cosplay, Dark Willow. It even includes a smoke machine in the lantern. Up next, to Nacht with Sven. The costume has over 4,000 pieces of material glued together. Five months it took, and it weighs 15 kilograms. That's 30 pounds in freedom units. Up next, it's Wongi Noah with Wraith King. Your only Chinese finalist, and the armor is made of foam with a whole lot of LEDs. This is mind boggling. Styro Girls! with Ogre Magi. It's a team of sisters. Rocking it. Absolutely nailed it, fantastic. And now it's time to announce your winners. So for a variety of different categories, let's break this down. Your winner of best technique, please step forward to the stage. Rehab cosplay with Ember Spirit. Give it up. Up next, okay, I don't think that was hype enough. Can I have an oh. Most innovative, Lilisif, Warlock! I'll learn to say your name next time. This is great, another one. Next category, your biggest transformation. Can I have that amazing sound again, guys? Girls, Ogo Magi. Make your way to the stage. If you can, you don't have to. <laughs> you got this, guys. Come on over to the stage. You got this. Nailed it. Nailed it. Beautiful, I'm gonna have to make room. And your last, last award, taking away the largest prize, best in show, is to Nacht with Sven. Give it up for your champion of the cosplay competition to TIA. Can we make room for Sven? Warlock, can you shift down just a little bit? Sorry, Ogre, I know, I know. Okay, one more time, guys. Breathe it all in. All of the fantastic cosplay. It's been an absolute honor. Give it up for to Nax, Sven, Ogre Magi, Ember, Warlock, and everyone who participated this year. I swear it gets better every single year. We'll throw it back to the panel after we appreciate this just a little bit more. I have to agree with Machine. Indeed, the level of detail going into these cosplays, it baffles me every time.